let's study about disorders of respiratory system first we will study the developmental physiology first is fetal life and after birth the fetus is exposed to the external environment in fetal life the placenta helps in the gaseous exchange and prior to 28 to 32 weeks the lungs have an inf the lungs have an inherent tendency to collapse and are unable to retain any air so before uh, in fetal life placenta is responsible for the gaseous exchange and the lungs are collapsed in the fetal life surfactant are synthesized during the fetal life in lungs the synthesis begins at 20 weeks of gestation and the surfactant appear in amniotic fluid at 28 to 32 weeks of gestation and mature surfactant in adequate amount is found in more than 35 weeks of gestation the composition of surfactant is it is composed of surfactant proteins a b c and d b is important next is cholesterol phosphatidylglycerol and lecithin which is the most important component of surfactant what is the function of surfactant surfactant is responsible to decrease the alveolar surface tension and it imparts finite elasticity to alveolar lining less pressure is needed as the alveolar surface tension is decreased so there will be less pressure needed to distend the lungs so during first breath at both lesser force is required to open up the alveoli if there is surfactant deficiency it will lead to respiratory distress syndrome test for surfactant measurement lecithin and in sphingomyelin ratio that if the ratio is more than 2 is to 1 this will represent that the lungs are matured and there is presence of mature surfactant we will do shake test shake test is done by taking a test tube and ethyl alcohol in it putting amniotic fluid if there is greater than one complete ring of bubbles on surface that means that mature surfactant is present we can do other tests also nine blue sulfatase test and phosphatidyl glycerol estimation now we will study about how the gaseous exchange how the gas transport in fetal life in fetal life in blood the hemoglobin present is fetal hemoglobin which have more affinity for oxygen adequate oxygen delivery is ensured by high tissue levels of carbon dioxide hemoglobin plus co2 when co2 combined with hemoglobin the oxygen dissociation curve shifts to right and when hemoglobin is combined to oxygen and in the presence of 2 3 dipg there is increased affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen during fetal life the co2 tension falls from 35 mmhg at 10th week of gestation to 28 mmhg at full term now we will study about when the fetus is exposed to the external environment how the breathing process start first is for onset of respiration the factors responsible are hypoxia hypercapnia and increased sensitivity of chemoreceptors how the neonatal respiratory function happen before birth lungs are filled with fluid and these need to be replaced by air this is re fluid is replaced by some fluid extruded from the mouth 
and some is absorbed by the lymphatics. Initially, the intrapleural negative pressure required for first breath is 40 to 100 centimeter of water, which is initially higher because the compliance of lungs is less. So more pressure is needed. After that, the compliance increase. The compliance at birth is 1.5 ml per centimeter water. And after first few hours, it is 6 ml per centimeter water. Resistance to airflow, de airflow decrease. Tidal volume of 3 kg infant is 16 ml at 28 breath per minute. Resting lung volume is 80 ml within 24 hours. Gas exchange in newborn. Oxygen required is 7 ml per minute per kg. That is higher than what the adult require. Dead space 2 ml per kg. Resting tidal volume is 20 ml. 35% of breath is wasted. As compared to in adults, 30% of breath is wasted. Persisting fetal channels and ventilation perfusion problems lead to increase in right to left shunt. Gas transport. Hypoxia is corrected in 5 minutes. Hypercapnia is corrected in 20 minutes. Acidosis is corrected in 24 hours. Initially, acidosis is due to higher level of lactates due to metabolism. Increase hemoglobin concentration and shift to left of oxygen dissociation curve is responsible for higher concentration of oxygen carrying in blood. Mechanical function throughout childhood. Total lung capacity in newborn is 150 ml. As the age increase, there is growth of lungs, multiplication of alveoli, increase in size of alveoli and airways, pores of corn or interalveolar communication also develops with increasing age, and there is increase in compliance and decrease in resistance. Increase in metabolic rate which will increase in mid minute ventilation. Conductance is increase of airways. Lung volumes are increased with increasing age. Gas transport. Increased pH and PC PCO2 means that there is increased buffer base of blood. Bicarbonate at 2 years are 19 milli equivalent per liter and at 16 years it is 24 milliequivalent per liter arterial oxygen it is 75 mm hg at newborn period and 95 mm hg at 5 year this is all about developmental physiology thank you